the most interesting one in that regard that I find rather unusual is when you see a signature, like Ernest Hemingway, the writer, and this isn't his signature, this is me writing. <laughs> and none of this is my typical writing, so if I make bizarre things in it, you, you can't, they don't count. They only count if it's your typical writing. <laughs> Hemingway used to underline his signature. And about three months before he died, he started underlining his signature like this. He took the last stroke of the letter, went through his name, and came back out the other way. This is such a distinctive stroke in graphology, it has a name. It's called the bullet through the head stroke. Actually, it's even more specific. It's called the rifle bullet through the head stroke. It's that specific. And of course, Hemingway shot himself through the head with a rifle. Not surprisingly, uh, Hunter S. Thompson, the gonzo journalist, fabulous writer, not Chris Thompson, <laughs> he's also a fabulous writer, Hunter S. Thompson used to underline his signature. And a few months before he killed himself with a rifle bullet through the head, Hunter S. Thompson ended this word and name by going through the signature and back out again as a straight line. It's a remarkable predictor. And I would expect that if we were looking at samples of their writing from that time, we would also see the sudden drop at the end of the line as the suicide urge was approaching and beginning to run towards surface. I was at um, a small community college doing a forensic lecture years ago, well, five years ago, a little place um, Lambton College, and afterwards, I worked with a lot of the kids, I'd do a 20 minute lecture, and then they'd line up, and we'd do one kid after another, 60, 100 samples, bang, 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 just one after another, and it got me to get the chops to be pretty quick with it. And then after everyone was gone, I was packing up, and this one guy comes over, he's the custodian, and he's about 45, and the guy's stocky, powerful looking guy, a lot of scars, and he's got tattoos that are not the nice, neat, pristine ones I have, but they're clearly jail art. Don't they? You know, ballpoint pen, a razor blade, this kind of thing. And he said, uh, would you look at my writing? I said, sure. So we sat down, gave me a sample of his handwriting he'd prepared, and it had the suicide drop in two of the lines. And his signature had the rifle bullet through the head stroke. The only time I've actually seen it. And I said, bro, I said, uh, you got any guns in your house? He said, yeah, I got a few. I said, um, you ever think of using them on yourself? He said, crosses my mind from time to time. I said, buddy, you've got to get some help. And explained the whole thing to him. I didn't hear of anything happening to him, so I can only hope he took it um, to heart. But these, these are remarkable predictors that will tell you so much of what's going on in someone's mind. 